Oh, sorry, Vern. <laughs> didn't mean to wake you up. I just didn't want you to miss today's big entertainment extravaganza. That's right, Burn. Today's the big day when your old buddy Ernest P. Worrell will go down in those big fake history books. Just think, Burn. Kids in the future will have my name as one of the multiple choices on all their history exams, like, like below the equator or or textiles or or even none of the above. Well, going back to sleep, Burn. You still got a couple hours. Oh, and Burn. I like you, little bear. <laughs> Blue bear. Oh, no. The picture you are seeing is coming to you from Splash Mountain at Critter Country in Disneyland, where we're about to witness a momentous occasion in this place where so many historic moments have been celebrated. We are just minutes away from a feat some have compared with Alan Shepard's first ride into space or Neil Armstrong's walk on the moon. We're about to see daredevil consultant and world-renowned ride tester Ernest P. Worrell take the maiden voyage on Disneyland's newest attraction, Splash Mountain. In this special television report, we'll learn about the ride, the man, and the meaning of courage as Ernest Goes to Splash Mountain. Ernest Goes to Splash Mountain is a special television report. And now, reporting from Splash Mountain News Central, is veteran news anchor, Ralph Story. Hello again, everyone. Joining me on this important telecast is a man who has covered many grand events. Cameron Cronemeyer is standing by in the happiest place on earth. Cameron, if you can hear me, uh, what is the mood out there right now? Yes, I can hear you, Ralph. And I must say that just walking through the park today, you can sense the excitement in the air. As you mentioned, I've covered many great events from inaugurations to Super Bowls, but this first run down Splash Mountain seems to have captured the imagination of the entire country. And that's due mainly, in this reporter's opinion, to the courage of Ernest. Cam, is Ernest really going to be the very first person on that Splash Mountain? That is correct, Ralph. Now, many tests of the ride have been conducted using empty logs and logs that have been weighted with sandbags to simulate the weight of people. But, of course, as in any innovative technology, the real test only comes once a human is on board. As the first person to take on Splash Mountain, Ernest P. Worrell will become a part of this mountain's legend if the ride is successful. If it isn't, he could possibly just become part of the mountain. Back to you, Ralph. One last question, Cam, if you had an opportunity to talk to Ernest. Uh, negative, Ralph. The word here is that this man has gone into training at the Daredevil facility that's owned and operated by his best friend, Vern. Now, he is supposedly going to stay there until just moments before his assault on the mountain. We've been told that they're conducting some last-minute but highly sophisticated tests. Hey, Vern. You know, Vern, that's as tight as Italian hemp has been since the senseless and brutal hanging of Cole Younger's horse. Vern, this is the ultimate test. If I can take this, I can take anything Splash Mountain can dish out. You see, Vern, you will play the part of mean old Mr. Centrifugal Force. Your job is to spin me around and simulate what we call the G-Whiz forces. Comprendo? Okay, I can take it. Now, here goes. <laughs> Burn! Burn! I think I'm gonna be uh, uh, sick. Burn! Burn! Yeah. Just as Ernest trip down Splash Mountain will be a demonstration of the limits of human endurance, it will also demonstrate the limits of human ingenuity. Like all Disney attractions, Splash Mountain has a story that goes along with that ingenuity. Correspondent Marjorie Hastings Hardwick is standing by to bring us that story. Have you ever wondered where the ideas for the super attractions found at Disneyland and Walt Disney World come from? In the case of Splash Mountain, the source of inspiration was the 1946 Walt Disney film Song of the South. It was in the animated sequence of this classic film that the antics of Br'er Fox, Br'er Br'er, and Br'er Rabbit came to life for the first time. Over 40 years later, these three lovable characters are the stars of Splash Mountain. 
The designers of Splash Mountain created the perfect setting to once again tell the tale of Br'er Rabbit's capture and his ultimate escape from the clutches of Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, complete with the breathtaking five-story plunge into the briar patch. Combining its popular and fanciful story with the thrill of careening down the world's longest plume drop should rank the 87-foot Splash Mountain among the best of Disneyland's mountain range, making it a top challenge for its guests. 234. 235. Oh, hi, Vern. Just getting in shape. Because, Vern, I'm about to become the first full-grown, sleep-away-from-home-without-a-note, grown-up, to ride... Disney Splash Mountain. Yeah, Vern, it's a matter of family pride, because I come from a long line of justifying roller coaster riding flume zoomers. Know what I mean? And Vern, Disneyland Splash Mountain is the longest, steepest flume zoom ever made by mortal man. And I'm getting in such good shape that I can do just about anything. Watch this. A one. <laughs> As you can see, the seconds are racing by now in our countdown to Daredevil Ernest P. Worrell's historic ride down Splash Mountain. You know, this mountain is an intricate combination of creativity and technology. Feature editor Skip Binkman has spent the last few days crawling around every nook and cranny of this innovative marvel. So let's see what he's found. This is some of the half million gallons of water which cycles continuously here in order to keep the splash in Splash Mountain. Now, this water is treated and then it's on its way down to the basement of this building where it'll be pumped back up to the top. Uh, back, back to you, Ralph. Uh, oh, uh, well, it uh, can never be said that Skip Binkman's reports are dull. He always manages to keep us informed and entertained with his unique style of reporting. Oh, I'm told that he'll be back with another interesting feature a little later. Um, also, coming up, we'll talk to a Disney Imagineer who happens to be the show producer of Splash Mountain. All of this when our countdown to Ernest's attempt to conquer Splash Mountain continues in just a moment. Okay, Vern. Now, as we both know, water runs down your hill and not up. Therefore, we can safely assume that I will land on my feet when I reach the bottom of Splash Mountain. Now, right here, Splash Mountain drops off at a 47 degree angle. Vern, have you got any more chalk? Never mind. I'll just use this pen. That was awful, wasn't it, Vern? Kind of reminds you of this, don't it? The tension is really beginning to mount now as we continue our countdown of Ernest P. Worrell's daredevil trip down Splash Mountain. Now, we'll be cutting back to Splash Mountain just as soon as we receive word that Ernest has arrived there. Just to repeat the facts as we know them at this time, the mountain is ready. Ernest P. Worrell is getting ready at his friend Vern's Daredevil facility, where some reliable sources have disclosed under a great umbrella of secrecy, they are running some last-minute experiments to test the intellectual and physical metal of this extraordinary man. Okay, Shorty, take out the slack. Oh, hey, Vern. Just brushing up on my advanced water sports. Yeah, Vern, I've got to be ready to ride the waves. So stand back and allow my flume to zoom. You see, Vern, I've got this team of neighborhood dogs that will equal the speed and torque of the awesome Splash Mountain. My highly trained and disciplined lead dog, Shorty, will listen to my even slightest book. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! The crowds are beginning to gather now outside Splash Mountain, and the excitement is building. Let's go to Marjorie Hastings Hardwick, who is standing by with Disney Imagineer and the producer of that spectacular ride, Bruce Gordon. Thank you, Ralph. 
Well, Bruce, we're nearing the big moment, and you must be nervous, because as the show producer, you are responsible for everything a guest sees, feels, smells, and experiences when they go into an attraction. Isn't that right? That's right. There's a tremendous amount of... We're going to be showing the folks at home some of those lavish scenes and settings inside Splash Mountain, so perhaps you could tell us about it, starting with that cast of characters. That's right. There's some of the... It's the largest group of animated characters ever assembled in an attraction. Isn't that right? 105, to be exact. And they're all led by those principal and adorable characters from the movie Song of the South, Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Bear. Isn't that right, Br'er Bruce? They're some of the favorites. And you here. guys not only did a fantastic job of recreating the characters from the movie, but you also captured those fantasy settings so rich with color and lavish detail. We're very proud of it. And don't together. forget to tell them about the rich sprinkling of the film's Academy Award-winning music that they'll hear. Zippity-doo-dah. Zippity-doo-dah is the song for the big finale, which has the largest animated prop ever. What a scene with 21 characters singing and the ship rocking. It's just marvelous. All of this combined with the world's longest and steepest flume drop, which allow the logs to achieve a top speed of 40 miles per hour, which I believe makes it the fastest ride ever built at Disneyland. Isn't that right, Bruce? That's right. It's Thanks so much for that great information. And I'm probably also right in saying that you are more than a little nervous as we near the moment when Ernest will make history as the first person to actually try out the ride. Uh-huh. There you have it. The man with all the answers, Splash Mountain producer Bruce Gordon. And now, let's go once again to Skip Finkman. Testing. One, two, three. <clears throat> You're looking at one of the... New houses that have been constructed along here, along the stream that runs through Critter Country. Uh, Critter Country is the new name that's been given to the area that, at the foot of Splash Mountain. It used to be called Bear Country, and you'll still see bears running around through here, but you'll also see a lot of uh, furried and uh, feathered friends which have moved into Critter Country ever since Splash Mountain moved in. Back to you, Ralph. Um... With our countdown clock taking away, I'm sure that Ernest is on his way to Disneyland by now. We'll find out when our coverage continues. Hey, Burn. The car's all gassed up, so let's load up the shuttle and head for the puddle. The Splash Mountain liftoff is A-OK, -okay, all systems go, and T-minus. And Vern, since I'm a highly trained top gun splash to not, I'll do the driving. So why don't you run in the house and get on some of them long pants and some of that musk oil, and you and I will go to Disneyland and find us some action. As you can see, our countdown has ended and it's time for Ernest P. Worrell to make history. Let's go back to Cameron Cronemeyer at Splash Mountain in Disneyland and find out if Ernest has arrived. Any sight of him yet, Cam? Ralph, a rush of anticipation has filtered through the crowd here as word has spread that Ernest has arrived here at the park. Let's switch to our cameras now over on Main Street where Marjorie Hastings Hardwick is standing by. <laughs> Welcome as his entourage makes its way down Main Street. It's absolute chaos here as all his fans have come out to wish him well. I'm going to try to fight my way through that crowd to get a word with our man of the hour. Just sit me down anywhere. <laughs> Mr. Worrell? Mr. Worrell? Mr. Worrell. Oh, you can call me. Ernest or knucklehead or big guy. <laughs> okay, knucklehead. Tell me, are you ready for this historic moment? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, what's it gonna be? The ride, Splash Mountain. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm practiced and rehearsed, and now I am a mean, lean, flume-zooming machine. Know what I mean? Well, how does it feel to be the first person to actually ride this awesome mountain? Piece of cake. You show me the mountain, I'll ride it. Now tell me, is your famous friend Vern here today? No, Vern couldn't make it today. Uh, somebody foolishly drove a car into his kitchen, so he had to stay and clean up. But he's got a nice TV with a little screen, and he's watching. Hey, Vern. Uh, Vern, I haven't seen the mouse yet, but I've seen Adventureland and Fantasyland and Frontierland. Vern, you'd love it. You ought to be here. 
Well, thank you very much, Ernest, and good luck. All right, let's go, Ernest! Well, it seems... The fearless Mr. Worrell is ready, willing, and able to take on Splash Mountain. All systems are go. Back to you, Cameron. This crowd is ready for it. Well, Ernest, this is it. Do you have any last-minute thoughts? Uh, uh, any last-minute thoughts? No. Uh, I had a last-minute thought earlier, but I stopped thinking it right at the last minute. Besides, this is no time for using your head. This is a time for action. Somebody call me a law. You're a law! He certainly is the picture of confidence, and frankly, for good reason. Anybody who could put up with the physical challenges that Ernest has been subjected to deserves to stand straight and tall and proud. As you can see, Ernest is taking his time getting into the log. This is the first time, remember, that anyone has taken on Splash Mountain. So they want to make sure that everything is perfectly set and the conditions are just right. Here he goes. Ernest is taking off. You probably couldn't hear his parting words over the shouts of the crowd. But it sounded something like, this is a small step for humankind, but a big old leapfrog for Ernest. Let's go inside now and see how he's doing. What's this, Bon? It, it looks like some kind of underground kingdom. Look at all the little critters. Wow. You never would have thought looking at this place that all of this lived underneath, would you? He should be nearing the first drop in the ride. Drop. Drop like fall. Like it free fall. Like it fall down, go boom, fall drop. Ah! Well, that first drop seems to be taking him by surprise. Let's go to Skip Binkman now, who's stationed along the waterway. Cameron, he's due here at any moment. While we're waiting his arrival, uh, I'd like to take a moment to say how proud and honored I am to be part of this history-making event, to be the eyes and ears of you, John Q. Citizen. And on behalf of all my colleagues, yes, the, the little people behind the scenes, behind the camera, in this great profession that we call the news. Oh, here he comes now. Well, that's, uh, that's strange. I, uh, I can't see him yet, but uh, I will stand by until he does arrive. Well, things are right on schedule in the first part of the ride. Uh, that all could change in just a few moments, however, as Ernest is nearing the big plunge. We'll find out when our coverage of Ernest Goes to Splash Mountain continues. goes to Splash Mountain will continue in a moment. Know what I mean? Let's go back to Splash Mountain now, where Ernest is preparing for the intimidating climb to the top of the world's longest plume drop on the way to the Briar Patch. Wish I brought a book. At this moment, we ask that squeamish or sensitive adults turn their eyes from the screen. What's happening? He, he still hasn't come by here. Well, I don't know, Skip. It's hard to tell. There doesn't seem to be any sign of recovery. Oh, no. Well, I hope we haven't witnessed the demise of America's first splastronaut. Well, wait a minute, Skip. I think I see something coming. Wait a minute. I think I see something, Skip. That's the log. Yes, it's him. It's him. I see him, Skip. He made it. He made it. 
Let's watch as he disembarks. How was it, Ernest? Nah, 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 uh, Ernest, you appear somewhat shaken. How do you feel? Nah, nah. Ernest, would you recommend Splash Mountain to the guests who come to Disneyland? <clears throat> yeah, it was great. I'd recommend Splash Mountain to anyone. Things like Splash Mountain keep you young. That and blood transfusions and organ transplants and cosmetic surgery. I feel great. Yeah. So there you have it from here. Ernest has conquered Splash Mountain. And as you can see, there's not an empty log in the place. Let's go back to Splash Mountain News Central. Well, a triumphant end for a triumphant man. It should be noted that the honor he received today is a testament to his perseverance and self-denial. What more can be said? Ernest P. Worrell will certainly be written into the history of Disneyland because he's one for the books. On behalf of all my colleagues, we salute you, Ernest. Ralph Story here. So long, everyone. Hey, Vern, just throw in a little victory party to celebrate my triumph over Splash Mountain. Yeah, Vern, them boys in Imagineering have really come up with a winner. And I invited each and every one of them to come here today and celebrate with me. But they said that today's the day they like to watch the big truck empty all the dumpsters out back. Anyway, with thrills and spills on the big hill, having fun at Disneyland, Vern, just couldn't be easier. It's... It's like bobbing for water. You can't miss. Know what I mean? <laughs>